Taser, taser, taser. He's down. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Get out of that car. What are you doing? Don't do it, lady. Ah. Hey. Ow. 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 Okay, he's taking primary. Uh, dispatch for East on 68. East on 68. No, good pit. Good attempt to pit there. This might be it. Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode of Devon Plays LSPDFR. Today we're headed out with the uh, Grape Seed Police Department and this awesome uh, Crown Vic. Uh, made some major changes here, got all my new uh, computer parts in, got it put together. Uh, really my, my best friend put it together for me, I really can't take any credit for that. So big shout out to you buddy, you know who you are. Um, but uh, I did go ahead and change out for uh, MVGA from a Visual V and the reason I did that was because I liked Visual V a lot. But I didn't like the fact that at night all the lights were super blown out looking. And MVGA doesn't do that. What I don't like about MVGA so much is I feel like this is super bright. And kind of kind of pastel almost. But uh, I'm trying some different reshade filters to see if I can find one I really like. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. But beyond that, I think it looks great. And uh, now that my computer can handle it, I got all the, I got all the stuff... Uh, turned up to max. I'm not going to change my skins to 4K though. Uh, so I'm going to be legit. Back. I don't see a uh, difference. A here, and I'm not I'm not involved. displaying in 4K anyway I because I use a, a, a lower screen resolution. So anyway, enough talk. We're going to go ahead and get out there. We'll take some calls. We'll do some traffic. We're going to see what's going on. Let's get started. Attention all units. We've got a possible burglary. A 10 Lincoln 21. Show me handling. Oh. And grape seed. Units respond code 2. Local dispatch ain't working as well now that I've upgraded to Windows 10, which is kind of annoying. I've done the the voice training and whatnot, but uh... Alright, so we got a sign- whoops. We got a silent alarm triggered. Um, somewhere out here in Graveseed. Looks like it might be one of these farms. Um, it's a little surprising, but that's alright. Could be a- could be a barn or something. Get out here and see- whoops. See what's going on with it. This is a Peter U call out, so they'll have call notes. I don't think I have any special screens set up for these cars, though. But we'll find out. Yeah, it looks like it's this barn right here. 10 Lincoln 21, show me on scene. Copy that. All right. All right, so here we are in the area. Let's go ahead and read the, the call notes real quick. Yeah, I didn't have anything set up for this one. Sorry about that. All right. Silent intruder alarm has been activated at the farm buildings on Seaview Road. Please respond without lights, or please respond without siren and investigate. Okay. All right, let's see if we can make contact with anybody here. 10 Lincoln 21, start me a second unit. Assistance needed on... There's somebody standing right road. over there. They look like they... Acknowledge! On our way! They look like they probably belong here, though. They don't seem like they're doing anything suspicious. Well, they didn't. I thought they were standing there smoking, but now... Hey! No, come here and talk to me! I'm okay. Come here and talk to me! No, don't don't take off. You're gonna get tased if you try to take off. Don't. Stop! I missed. Got one running. Give it up. I'm okay. All right, here we go. So we've got Andrea Hernandez here. He's gonna take her. He's gonna take her to custody. I'm a Dispatch, we got one in custody. Ten like a twenty-one. Show one in custody. Copy that. I don't know what that red dot is over there. But Attention, no. all units. We have a suspect placed under arrest. All right. Let's walk her back over to our car. She was carrying something too. I think that's a, actually a piece of evidence right there. And we still have a pursuit going on here, apparently. Assistance Someone needed took in, off. Uh, grape seed. I'm gonna go ahead and Dispatch, we got eyes on the release her real quick. I believe this is a yep, Requesting piece of evidence right here. So we'll go ahead and collect that. We found a cell phone. All right. Let's get her back over to our car then. Hopefully we got some units in. I didn't see anybody else take off, but there's a Blaine County unit coming by trying to see what we're see if we're okay. I'm gonna run her back to our car. Come on. All right, let's go ahead. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and, and pat her down. What are you doing out here? 
Do I really need to answer that? I mean, yeah, no, but I would appreciate it. I should probably inform you you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say you can't against you in a court of law. You have right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, want to be a friend, you can stay to San Andreas. No need for checks. Do you have anything illegal on you? You do? What am I going to find when I pat you down? So you, you got some coke on you? Okay. All right. Um, let's see here. Why'd you run from me? I just wanted to talk to you. You thought it was a race? Well, you found out you weren't faster than a taser. So, all right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and pat you down. Turn around for me. I'm not going to bother getting a female out here when we've got a... I think... No, we still have a, we, we still have an ongoing pursuit as well. Nothing of interest. All right. Come on. So let's go ahead and uh, get her in the car. And I'd like to get involved in that pursuit. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go try to get involved in that pursuit, see if we Whoa. get the second person, and we'll come back and process the crime scene here. You can go, buddy. I appreciate your help. So, all right. Let's go see if we can catch up with that person. I don't even know if we have a... Yeah, we don't even have an idea of where they are, to be honest. So, um... I don't see another unit. Oops. I don't see another unit e either. So it never actually dispatched anybody else out. So now, now that's it. I'm just gonna search the crime scene then real quick. Uh, looks like they got it. So we got one outstanding. Okay. So we'll ask her who her friend was and see if we can pick them up. She was standing right about here. So we're just gonna look around and see if there's anything else on the ground that might be evidence. There's something right there that might just be a piece of uh, the texture. Nope. All right. She, this is the only place she went that we saw. Uh, we did find the cell phone. That could be her phone, though. Um. Okay. Don't see anything else that I would really consider to be evidence, so let's just go ahead and run back and check her, uh, check her record here. I'm just going to go ahead and charge her, because I want to end the call on screen. Well, she's not going to catch a lot of charges, but let's see. We've got Andrea Hernandez here. She's valid. Um, no no wants, no warrants. Some citations, no big deal. Let's go ahead and write her. Um, she's going to go for uh, breaking and entering, which is a felony five. It's an unoccupied structure. So uh, we'll, we'll write her for breaking and entering, and then we'll write her for... Uh, Probably obstruction. Probably M2 obstruction. And then, uh... We'll just write her for resisting arrest, too. Why not? I think that'll do it. Alright. And then let's go ahead and get out here and see. Attention all yep, we found all the evidence as well. So, alright, so we got her. Looks like her and another person who is outstanding at this time. Uh, we're attempting to break into this barn out here. One took off. We managed to take this one to custody. The other one's outstanding. We'll... Try to get some information out of her, see if we can get a warrant issued for somebody, and uh, we'll get back on the road. That dude just ran off the road. 10 Lincoln 21, show me 10 7. Copy that. He's also going pretty fast through downtown. His car doesn't actually have a speed unit, so I kind of cheated there, but. Later, we'll run some radar downtown like I always do and use the uh, use the radar gun. Well, this is nice. It's actually a pretty decent stop, even though we're blocking someone's driveway and I want to pull up a little bit, but usually trying to stop on this stretch of the road don't go so well. Okay! That Sand King's gone a little nuts himself. Y'all see my lights, don't you? Alright, I'm going to pull them up a little bit more here. Just like... Right. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Looks like right there, buddy. You're good. Alright. Yeah, that's good. That's great, in fact. 10 Lincoln 21, show me on a stop. Copy that. Is backup needed? Negative. Copy that. All right. Proceed with caution. Let's see what we've got. It is a vice. Nora Paul X ray 6080, NPX 6080. Valid and clear on the registration. Max Green. Max Green has a warrant. Because, of course, Max Green has a warrant. Max Green has quite the record as well. Uh, OVI with property damage. Uh, obstruction of justice. Attempt to commit an offense. So some some part of attempting to commit an F4 offense. Uh, impersonate a peace officer. And that one doesn't count. So 
Felony stop. Ten, Lincoln, twenty-one. No need for checks. Ten, four, copy that. Requesting felony stop backup. Requesting felony stop backup. Assistance needed in grape seed. All right. Go ahead and hold him at gunpoint till our backup gets here. I hear him coming up behind us here. I don't know where he's going. We are on our way. Okay. Sure. Whatever. Sheriff's Department. Or whatever that was. I don't know what his problem was. All right. Driver, step out of that vehicle for me. Driver, step out of the vehicle. Put your hands on your head. Hello. Hands on your head. Now go to your knees. Okay, wait. We had you surrounded. It might have redone his... Uh... Okay, there you go. All right. Stay on your knees. Stay on your knees. Don't move. Don't move. Can I get some cover, please? Can I get some cover? All right, I got him. All right, pupils are like pupils are or palms are sweaty, I should say. Ten Lincoln, twenty-one. Show one in custody. Copy that. All right, we got him in custody here. All right, step over here. All right, you guys can go. I appreciate your help. I just want to get traffic flowing again. It's already gone. It's already gone wrong. We're gonna go over here. All right, man. Reason I took you out of the car like that, are you aware there's a warrant for your arrest? Is there? Well, hell. Well, hell there is, man. You're wanted for uh, participation in a criminal gang. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can't open against the court of law. You have right to an attorney. Can't afford one. Want to be appointed to by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand your rights, my man? No, you don't? Okay. Well, you've been through this a couple of times, so I would think that you would. But basically, what that means is you don't have to answer any questions if you don't want to, man. It's totally up to you. Uh, that being said, is this your... Uh, Ask that later. Anything illegal on you want to tell me about? You know who my wife is? No, I don't know who your wife is, dude. I don't. I don't. I, I, I also don't really care who your wife is. You know what? Stop. Everybody, just stop. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pat. I'm gonna go ahead and pat him down. All right, man. Turn around. I'm gonna pat you down. Should have pulled him over here even more. All right. Bing cover seat and appointment reminder card for Dr. Isaiah Freelander. A red. Uh, Cardique brandy bag containing a baggie of marijuana weighing less than one ounce, which I don't really care about. An improvised handgun made from various plumbing pipes, which I really do care about. A Sandy Shores ATV rental receipt and a set of keys. So he's got a little, like, uh, liquor bag containing a baggie of marijuana, which is less than an ounce, so I really don't care. And an improved, or an, an, an improvised handgun. Dude, what the heck, man? Where'd you get this gun from? Where'd you get this gun, dude? That isn't my gun, pig. Okay, what's well, on you? Switch your gun now, man. Why are you carrying it for? I don't have to answer that, pig. All right. You like that word, don't you, man? All right, dude. Come on. Well, no, hold on. I want to ask him. I want to ask him a couple things real quick here. First of all, dude, is there anything in that vehicle you want to tell me about? No? Okay. All right, dude. And then, do you have any affiliation with any criminal gangs? I am an honorable associate of the Yakuza. You will learn nothing from me. Oh. Oh, I didn't expect you to go all samurai on me. I'm on over here. Did not expect him to be a member of the Yakuza. Have a seat in the car, buddy. All right, well, set your honorable ass down to the back of the car, sir. Thank you very much. Greetings. All right. He does appear to be under the influence of narcotics. I'm not even going to bother testing him. I'm oh, just going to just going to write him for OBI second offense, honestly. So, all right, let's go ahead and search this car here. See what he's got going on in here. All right, he's got a counterfeit debonair or uh, dairy or head handbag and an unloaded Marlin Model XT 17R blood sugar test kit, a phone number for Ricky Lukens, various pieces of religious lit lit literature, and a baby blue black pack containing Epsilon program literature. All right, so counterfeit handbag. That doesn't necessarily mean that. I mean, I'm not gonna charge him with counterfeiting on that one. He could have bought that. He could have bought that for his wife and not known it was. Uh, and not known that it was um, counterfeit. Like, that's not necessarily a crime. So, let's go ahead and hop in the car here. So, alright. Let's see here. Uh, who's, who's Belinda Rose? Because the, uh... Oh, okay. Never mind. It's because we got that... We got that, that, that car so close to us. So, alright, well... 
in that case, then I guess I'm gonna go ahead and write him his charges, and then we'll uh, we'll probably go downtown and do some radar next. So we'll be back. Thirty-nine. Yep, he'll do just fine. It's also tailgating that guy. All right, man, pull it over. Not bad. You could pull up a little bit more, though. Up and off the road a little bit more. Go ahead and do that. There we go, that's a little better, at least. 10 Lincoln 21, show me on a stop. Copy that, in backup needed. What is he doing? Negative. What is he doing? You can go, man. Actually, I don't want to. I really don't want to do that just yet. Put that away. Put that away. Let me get my pistol readied up here. There we go. I'm back in my car real quick. Check this guy's license. All right. So it's a Sand King Ida Charles Victor 3385. It is also valid and clear. Pete Malloy. Pete Malloy is also valid and clear. And oh, he's a cop. Oh, okay. Ten Lincoln Twenty One. No need for checks. Hello. Roger that. Hey man, how you doing? My name's uh, Officer Devon with the uh, Grapeseed Police Department. Reason for the stop was your speed back there through uh, through Grapeseed. You're going thirty nine and a twenty five, man. You got your ID on you? Could you please show me your ID? Uh, he's drunk. Thank you. Hi, this is Pete Malloy. All right, Pete. Hey man. Um. So, do you, do you, do you understand why I stopped you? I'm not driving, I'm traveling. Are you... Are you serious right now, Pete? Because I, I know you're a police officer. So... I, anyway. Where is it? The reason I stopped you, man, is because you were traveling over the posted speed limit. Everyone else was. I was just trying to keep up with traffic. No, you were just trying to overrun traffic because I saw how close you were falling to that other car, man. So, where are you coming from today, bud? I came from the... You're just coming from the hospital? Okay. you have your weapon on you? You do? Okay. All right, man. I understand. Where are you headed to, bud? It don't matter? Okay. All right, dude. All right, all right. Well, look. Pete, tell me the truth, man. You been drinking? You don't fucking drink? Okay, because I'm smelling alcohol coming out of the car, man. So if you don't drink, then you wouldn't mind taking some sobriety tests, right? So, okay. All right, fine. Jesus Christ, traffic. There you go. It's all because this grapeseed cop just stopped in the middle of the road for no reason. So, anyway. Alright, so it's just the day of bad traffic stops. Oops. Alright, man. Well, why don't you, uh, why don't you step out the car for me, man? Let's have a look at him here. He's kind of dressed like the Vault Boy, too. Alright, well, he's Stay not there. Stay there. appearing to be incredibly intoxicated, anyway. He's slurring his speech. Alright, man, come on, step over here. Come on, buddy. Alright. So, listen, man. Here's my thing. Don't don't get an attitude, dude. There's no reason for that. I can tell you've been drinking, man. Tell me the truth now. Today's your birthday. It's all fine. Okay, so you told me you don't drink, but now you tell me it's your birthday. Dude, why are you lying to me, man? We do the same job. Why are you being like this? So, listen. Do you, do, do you want to take some sobriety tests? Okay, all right. All right, man. Well, I'm going to assume you know how these work. And you also know that I'm going to have to explain it to you. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you watch the tip of my pen Thank here you. with your eyes. And I want you to follow with your eyes. Don't move your head while I'm doing it, okay? Okay, so he's turning his head to the left and right. So he's... he's Okay. All right, man. So listen, the, the, the next Hello. thing I want you to do then is... Uh, and, 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 and you've probably administered this before, but you see this line on the ground right here? I want you to walk along it nine steps, heel to toe. Walk forward and then walk backwards. Thank you. Walk back to me, I should say. So heel to toe, walk nine steps forward, pivot... Turn around and walk back to me the same way. Strong odor of alcohol from the breath. This guy is drunk. This guy is definitely real drunk. Professional courtesy only extends so far, guys. If he was just speeding, that was it. I'd let him go. But he's drunk. I can't let him go. That would be irresponsible and wrong. Okay. All right, Pete. So the last question I have for you, man, is the state requires us to offer you a breathalyzer test. Do you wish to? Do you wish to take a breath test this time? Do you know who I am? I'll have your job. I don't think you're going to have my job, man, and I, I do know who you are. 
And you ought to know better than to be threatening me like that. So seriously, do you or do you not want to take a breathalyzer test? Okay. All right. All right. So I'm sure again, I'm shooting out how this works. Oh no, Steve, don't. Oh God, gun, 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 gun. Put it down. Give it up. Ten Lincoln Twenty One requesting medical assistance. Ambulance. Backup required in Grape Seed. Ten Lincoln 21, I've got a, I've got a man down here, dispatch. Okay, they didn't, they didn't copy that. Uh, that ambulance train in no hurry. All right. What do you have? Same as me, he had a Glock. I cannot believe he pulled his weapon on me. Wow. All right, let's search his body just so we can see what he has on him. I tried to give him the option to put it down. Y'all heard me give him verbal commands. A wallet, an envelope addressed to Los Santos City Hall that is flecked with white powder. Jesus. A 24-7 supermarket receipt, several Ego Chaser energy bars, and a broken off knife blade. Pete Malloy. So nothing oh, terrible, hell, nothing good. but that envelope could be... I mean, that could be... I mean, we could all be dead now. That could be anthrax. But it could also just be cocaine or something. Or, jeez... Broken off knife blade ain't really nothing. I don't know why you'd carry that around. But we'll have to see if he's alive. I hit him in the head. I don't think he's alive. Oh, Jesus, we lost them. I cannot believe he pulled his gun on me. That's incredible. Next time. Always a next time. Ten Lincoln, twenty one, the uh, suspect didn't make it dispatch. 10-4, copy that. 10, Lincoln, And now the ambulance is going to do crazy shit. Why can't you just back up more? Why doesn't it just back up more? There's all this space behind it. What is it doing? I'm going to... 10, Lincoln, 21, requesting coroner. Just make this even worse. In grapeseed. What are you doing? I'm going to make this even worse. You. Oh, there, there you go. You figured it out. Now go forward. There you go. Here comes the coroner. Hopefully they don't run into each other. Everybody's driving so slow. I wish there was a way to make them respond a little faster. You know. He got out of his car to help at least. Here's that. Hey everybody. Sorry this one's a little brutal. Smoking will kill you. Bacon will kill you. But smoking bacon will cure it. Ha! <laughs> Looks like the cause was shot by a handgun. Yeah, I'd say so. Oh, yeah. I got the gurneys again. I don't know why they're gone. Oh, well. All right. Well, that's going to... Let's see, let's see what all he had in his car. I mean, he could have been a crooked cop, you know? Not a... I don't know, man. But... He had a one gram baggie of synthetic marijuana, a bottle of Tylenol, and a counterfeit Veil de Grace handbag. Alright, we're gonna get this thing towed out of here, and I think we've probably got time for one more, so we'll probably try to get into something else. We'll be back. I just, I just, uh... Dispatch calling unit 10, Lincoln 21. We've Turn got around. a code 99 in, uh, Grapeseed. Yeah, dispatch, I'm in the area, I'll take that. Okay, apparently not. Copy that. We're moving right now. 10 copy that. Oh, I don't know what that red dot's all about. Apparently it's all the way up here, though. I saw that red dot and thought that was it. Oh, we're turning here. There we go. Now that we're actually on our way. I see him down there. 10 Lincoln 21, I'm on scene dispatch. 10-4, copy that. Alright, so here we are. That Blaine County unit's got somebody stopped. Let's get out and talk to him. I don't need my gun out. Hey man, what's going on? Hey, glad you're here. There's an outstanding warrant for this register, for the registered owner. This person needs to be arrested. Who's going in for the arrest? Uh, my donut didn't sit too well, man, and I did one of these earlier. I got you. I got you covered, bud. In fact, I'm gonna cover you with my shotgun. I don't care. Alright, he's putting his hands up. He's got a gun in his hand. Man. Oh. 
Shots fired. Attention, this is dispatch. We are code four. They are really not. They are really not understanding when I say shots fired, and that's kind of an issue. Requesting medical assistance. Ambulance. Assistance required on O'Neill Way. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. Alright, so this is uh, Chris Schrick. Uh, exotic Boutique Receipt 4 milligram uh, Narcan Needle Spray. Uh, Alcoholics Anonymous coin. A used positive pregnancy test. A Taurus judge and a suspected meth pipe. Alright, well the medics are here. 10 Lincoln 21, show medics on scene dispatch. 10-4, copy that. Alright. Looks like he might have hit us a little bit too. Can I help you? Get out the car. Don't you move. Get out the car, put your hands up. You idiot. You see flashing lights, you just try to drive around and almost hit me. Turn around. Put your hands on your back. You are under arrest. Your stupid ass should have stopped. I'll figure out what I'm going to do with you here in a minute. 10 Lincoln 21, I've got one detained to dispatch. Alright, this guy's dead. Alright. Had an ambulance parked in the middle of the road, and your stupid ass just kind of tries to drive around and almost hits me. Alright. 10 Lincoln 21 requesting coroner. Assistance needed on a uh, railway. I don't know if I'm arresting him for misconduct, emergency, or or failure to failure to comply with signal, or failure to stop for emergency vehicle, or what. But you got anything illegal on you, dude? Might have some drugs, but you don't sell them. Okay. Why did you do that, man? Why did you Why did you try to try to whip it around this like you like you somebody special? You just hanging out? Okay. Well, you just you just about to hang out in jail. All right, I'm gonna pat you down, man. Turn around. If you ain't got nothing on him, I might just give him a ticket and let him go. Oh, but he does. Glock 17 with a scratch serial number, family photo pair of work gloves, Felix Johnson. No, I don't want to get in his car. Why would I want to do that ever? All right. What's up with this gun, man? This gun belong to you? It's your son's gun? Where'd you get it from, then? You found it? You found, you found your son's gun, so you're carrying it? Why? why? It's your right? Well, it might be your right, but uh, I don't know if you have a concealed, uh, concealed carry permit or not. Maybe you do, and if you do, that's fine. But you can't have a scratch. It's, it, it's got the serial number scratched off of it, dude. So, alright. Come here. Step over here away from your car for me. Let's face this fence. Don't move. I'll search his car. got. Alright, he's got a lot. Okay, he's got an expired out-of-state gun permit in another person's name. Wrist brace, Los Angeles Transit Bus Pass Container, and mint, some Inspector Nickers lingerie and a toolbox. Okay. Alright. What's up with this ID, man? What's up with this ID? It's your new ID I got. You got married? Okay, well, it's out-of-state, and it's in a completely different name, so why are you lying to me, dude? To see if you'd fall for it. Well, I didn't, so. Alright, man, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything to say can't it was against you in court of law. You're right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, we'll be planning to by the state of San Andreas. Even though we've already questioned him, we should have randized him first, but that's okay. Do you understand your do you, do you understand your rights, bud? You don't? Okay. You're the second person today to tell me that. Basically, you didn't have to answer any questions. Hang out. Alright. I don't even care about that guy's car so much. I'm just gonna ride him and let him go. Honestly. I don't really feel like taking him to jail. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm confiscating the gun. So let's just go ahead and write him real quick here. Alright, this is Felix Johnson. He's on. Okay, yeah. Um, oh! Nope, he's going to prison. Or he's going to jail. He's got a, he's, he's got a felony arrest. So, alright. Let's run back over there. I shouldn't even have left him there. I should have walked him back over here. Alright, man. Well, I hate to tell you this, but uh, you're a felon and you got a gun, so you're going to jail. It's that simple. So, all right. Well, I'm up. I'm gonna book him then, instead of instead of sight, sight and release. We never really get to do that, but I can't justify it in this case. So, all right. I'm gonna book him. That's gonna pretty much do it for this episode. We'll go do the court thing. 
Alright, so that is pretty much going to do it for our shift here, but we got a couple people to do the court thing with. Uh, three, actually. Uh, first was uh, Andrea Hernandez, who ended up charging with uh, breaking and entering for uh, her and an unknown accomplice who remains at large were uh, spotted in the area after a silent alarm was triggered. She tried to run from us, so um, tried to... So we, we, we charged her with breaking and entering um, obstruction of official business of resisting arrest. Pretty normal charges for her trying to run. She have anything illegal on her. And the one item we did recover as evidence was a cell phone, and we really couldn't do anything with that. So she's going to spend one year in prison for uh, for her part in that. Now, maybe she can get a commuted sentence or something if uh, she rolls over on her partner, but she has not done so as of yet. So, All right, Max Green was the next guy we dealt with. Um, we ended up charging him with uh, OVI second offense. Uh, I believe that was the uh, one of the two vehicles we stopped. Uh, it was the Bison, I think, that we stopped. Um, he had a warrant for participation in criminal gang. He did have a prior OVI arrest, and he was under the influence of narcotics, so we arrested him for OVI second offense. Uh, carrying a concealed weapon, uh, possessed a destructive device. It was a homemade gun that he had on him, and then also carrying a concealed firearm. Oh yeah, that was the unloaded gun in the car. That was the homemade gun, and then that was also the homemade gun. So he's going to do six years in a month, um, four years for the gang, four years for the warrant, two uh, a year and two months for the gun. And then, uh, you know, he only got probation for the other, for the unloaded gun. So that's not bad. Six years ain't bad on that. And then lastly was, uh, we didn't get a chance to deal with the, uh, the second to the police officer that pulled his gun on us and tried to kill us. We ended up having to use deadly force against him. And then also we went to back up a Blaine County officer. And while he was trying to make an arrest, that person also produced a firearm and we ended up using lethal force on that person as well. But during that, we dealt with Felix Johnson who tried to drive his car around the stopped ambulance and damn near hit us. Uh, we charged him with uh, misconduct and emergency, possession of a defaced firearm. He was carrying a defaced Glock, uh, receiving stolen property for that OL. Um, he uh, he said it was his new name or some nonsense. I'm just going to assume it was stolen. Uh, carrying a concealed firearm and then also weapons under disability because he had a prior felony conviction. And he's going to do three years and nine months. Uh, most of that coming from the, uh, the weapons under disability because, once again, we take a pretty dim view of felons having guns. So... All right, well, I guys, hope uh, hope you guys enjoyed that episode of Devin Plays LSPDFR. I always love coming out with Grapeseed Police. Grapeseed and Polito are probably my two favorite places to play. I think we'll probably head back into the city next, either for uh, Los Santos or the Sheriff's Department. I don't know which, but I haven't changed the Sheriff's cars yet, and the Los and I, I don't want to because I like them. And the Los Santos cars are still Chicago PD, and I'm not going to change them out yet either. We'll probably roll a Vic next time that we do Chicago. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed the episode, and uh, stay safe out there, guys. Uh, can I get